Guyana's government is taking significant steps toward establishing a deepwater port, a project poised to enhance the country's role as a major transshipment hub in the region, highlighting the importance of selecting a model that supports large scale international trade and integrates with broader regional development strategies that the new deepwater port could be built at New Amsterdam in Region 6, which will open new avenues for international trade, particularly with Brazil, Guyana's southern neighbor due to the road link to Lethem. Region 9, Upper Takutu Upper Essequibo, that the Guyanas was currently evaluating several proposals for the deepwater port, which aims to accommodate the largest vessels in the world. The proposed deepwater port is not just a standalone project, but a key component of Guyana's broader vision to integrate with northern Brazil. By developing a port that can handle large vessels, Guyana aims to become a central player in regional trade, facilitating the movement of goods between South America and global markets like the Panama Canal. We believe the best model should be going out right into the deep. That would allow the largest vessels in the world to come here. In the long run, the most sustainable thing to do because you'd avoid a lot of the dredging costs and everything else, given Guyana's strategic geographical location on South America's edge, and with its strategic integration with Brazil, combined with the port's capacity to handle significant cargo volumes, is expected to make Guyana a major growth hub, increasing its attractiveness as a destination for trade and investment. The deepwater port is expected to significantly reduce the cost of shipping for Guyanese exports making them more competitive on the global market. It will also lower the cost of imported goods, benefiting consumers and businesses alike. A port of that nature will seriously make goods that we export, whatever we export, more competitive. The costs of freight out of Guyana are enormous, and sometimes it would affect everything. And if we can ship bulk, the big ships can come in, you can cut the cost of freight by maybe 60%, which is a huge benefit to making your product more globally competitive that the port would be a critical infrastructure piece for future economic growth, supporting not just trade, but also other sectors like agriculture, manufacturing, and services. With cheaper energy and a road connection like the Quarantine Bridge to Suriname, the Deepwater Port Project aligns with Guyana's broader economic strategy, which includes modernizing infrastructure and creating new opportunities for trade and investment. Notable Projects such as the full paving of the Linden Lethem Road, are intended to enhance connectivity and facilitate the movement of agricultural and mineral products between Brazil and Guyana. The focus remains on selecting a model that maximizes long term benefits for the country. It's an integrated project. Part of the revenue stream to make this project sustainable has to be the integration, highlighting Guyana's potential as a major transport hub. He envisions the country becoming the gateway between South America and the world, unlocking vast opportunities for investments and trade.